Hey guys, this is Abby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade rabbit treats, but this time without any oats. So the things you will need will be half a cup of your rabbit's pellets, a quarter cup to half a cup of hay dust, and hay dust is just those tiny little hay pieces from the bottom of the bag or your hay bin, and just go through and find the tiniest little hay pieces you can. You will also need a banana, around five baby carrots, and adding some berries is optional. So the first thing you're gonna do is put your pellets in the blender and blend them up. After it's all blended up, toss the pellets into a bowl, grab the blender again and put in your carrots and your fruit if you're using some. And then start blending it up and there really wasn't enough in the blender for it to like blend really well because I don't have a really good blender. So I ended up adding the banana to the blender and then mixing up all the wet stuff together which ended up working really well so I recommend doing this for you guys too. Once it's all blended up grab a bowl and dump all the liquid into it. Then grab your ground up pellets, toss all of them in and mix it up. Once it is all thoroughly combined, add about half of your hay dust. You probably won't need all of it and start mixing it. You still want it to be a little bit wet just so then you can mold the bunny cookies together. Once it's all mixed up, put it aside to sit for 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can clean up the mess you've made and get the tray ready. And I just lined my tray with some aluminum foil just to keep it more clean and easy. After 20, 30 minutes, it's time to make the cookies. So I just took a little in my hand, molded it around and then flattened it and then put it on the tray. And I repeated this for as many as I could make. Then I preheated the oven to 350, put the treats in the oven, and set the timer for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, turn off your oven, but do not take the treats out. Leave them in the oven with the door shut for at least three hours to let them completely dry out. Then once the oven is completely cool, you can reach in and grab and take out the treats. Then just grab a container and place all your treats into it. Grab a cover for it and you are done. My bunnies really like these treats, which I was super glad of. And I hope you guys try these out. It's a really simple recipe. If you do, send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to see them. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye.